Have you ever wondered what it would be like to attend a sporting event with hundreds of fellow aviation enthusiasts? Have you ever wanted to do some unexpected plane spotting before? Have you ever wanted to hang out for hours and talk about aviation while watching a baseball game? Join me as today we'll be attending the Airliners International 2022 Welcome Reception, a Chicago Dogs baseball game against the Milwaukee Milkmen. This is going to be a blast, so let's dive right into it. Who's ready for some baseball and planes? Every year at the Airliners International Convention, a welcome reception is held on the first evening of the convention for all registered guests of the convention to attend and enjoy. Over the years, the welcome reception has been held at a wide variety of events including but not limited to pool parties, hotel activities, and now baseball games. The Airliners International 2022 welcome reception was hosted at a Chicago Dogs baseball game on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. I unfortunately couldn't find much history about Airliners international welcome receptions so I'm not sure if this was the first baseball game or not but nevertheless I was super excited for some brief history the Chicago Dogs are an independent professional baseball team located in Rosemont Illinois the team competes in the American Association of Professional Baseball League in the East Division the Dogs home field is impact filled which seats 6,300 people and the stadium is located only a half mile west of the Hilton Rosemont Hotel and a half mile east of the Chicago O'Hare International Airport the team was founded in 2018 as 20 2022 was their fifth year competing in the American Association of Professional Baseball League. The Dogs have been an average team over the last few years until 2021 when they produced a league best 63 and 37 record and made their first ever playoff appearance. They went on to lose to the Fargo Moorhead Redhawks. The Dogs continued their momentum from 2021 into 2022 as they hosted a 22 and 13 record before this game against the Milwaukee Milkmen. They split the two games against the Milkmen the previous two days. That's enough talk about the baseball side of things. Don't worry, this video will be mainly aviation orientated as we have several spotting clips to dive into during this baseball game vlog. I'm very sorry that I did not bring my camera to the game as I didn't know we were allowed to bring cameras. If I would have been able to, I would have captured some amazing photos of these aircraft, but it's all good as the iPhone did a great job with these video clips. Not to mention that I went spotting the next day which was absolutely incredible. Stay on the lookout for that spotting vlog as it was an absolute blast. But without any further delay, let's head over to the baseball game everybody. Welcome to the baseball game everybody, super excited to be here and dive into some additional information as unfortunately I wasn't able to get a bunch of footage on our way over here which I apologize about. I was so in the moment that I didn't even think about it and I was just having so much fun so I hope you guys forgive me but I promise I'll be on top of it next year because man I want to show all this to you guys because there was so many good items but nevertheless we have a bunch of good stuff to dive into here so let's dive into it as we have a ton to talk about. So first and foremost you guys may be wondering why I was at the Hilton Rosemont Hotel again after just leaving there to drop off my items back at my hotel so here's what ended up happening so there was two reasons for why I was back at the Hilton Rosemont Hotel so the first reason being that Alpine Aviation wanted to meet up and go to the baseball game which I thought would be a bunch of fun and he was at the uh, Hilton Rosemont already so that's why we chose to meet up there but the second reason that led into that was because the uh, Airliners International actually provided a bus shuttle from the Hilton Rosemont Hotel to impact field for the baseball game which I thought was a very nice gesture of them and we really really appreciated it uh, ex ex sorry guys I've been so used to reading off that darn script that sometimes my free narration just goes all over the place. But nevertheless, back on topic. So uh, with that being said, it was only a half mile, so we definitely could have walked it. But nevertheless, uh, they provided the bus, and I thought it would be a bunch of fun. It was a pretty cool uh, school bus. So I've now uh, rode on a school bus from Illinois, which is kind of random. But there you go. So I thought that was a bunch of fun. And that took us over to Impact Field, where the baseball game was taking place. So we have various things to dive into in this uh, this uh, section. Uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. This portion of the uh, narration here so here's uh, where we went from there so we got off the bus and went up to the counter or whatever you want to call it uh, where they were giving out the tickets and Airliners International actually had a full table which I thought was very unique for something like this that was really cool so we ended up trading in our ticket our ticket excuse me for the mill ticket which we'll talk about more in a moment here uh, we got a free Chicago Dogs hat which is really cool it was on it's honestly really comfortable I'll be wearing it. it's kind of random but I really like it so we got a Chicago uh, Dogs hat which is very cool and also a program for the Chicago Dogs 
products as well. All that information is actually on their website. So if you're looking to check that out, I'll link it in the description, but it's pretty much a much more in-depth version than the consolidated version I gave you guys in the intro of this video, but you're more welcome to go check it out if you're interested. So feel free to go check that out. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And if you're looking to learn more about this uh, Professional American Association something baseball league, feel free to do it because they have a bunch of good stuff on there. And it's a cool league. I didn't really know about it. Uh, I think it's relatively new as you guys heard. Uh, this is only the Chicago Dogs fifth year. So very cool. Nevertheless, it was right there in Rosemont. So it worked really well for everybody included. So we went on to go get the meal. Like I said earlier in that subtitle, it was a hot dog, chips and uh, water or sorry, not water. That's what I had, but just a drink in general. It was very, very good. I really appreciated the gesture. Um, Airliners International did a great job uh, making that. Um, I don't even know what you'd want to call it. I guess a voucher. Uh, they did a great job providing the voucher and they did a really good job. So I really appreciate it. I would have liked to eat at the Mordens, but man, um, saving so much money really helped and it provided more models too. So I really enjoyed that part of it and that was absolutely awesome. Me and Alpine got to meet up with JJ or JJ Skippy from there. Sorry, I thought said JJ Aviation. There's so many people with aviation in their name. I apologize, but we ended up being with JJ Skippy from there, and we were there watching the baseball game, which was so much fun. And I mean, just take a look at this view right here. It's just absolutely incredible. So we were in section 102, which is a really nice section here on the, I guess, the south. I'm sorry, I'm getting my directions mixed up. I'm pretty sure that was the southwest side of the ball field, and it w wrapped all the way around as you guys saw in those previous pictures. So there wasn't many uh, people, unfortunately. I would assume probably somewhere in like the 1500, 2000 range, and for a 6300 stadium, that's unfortunate. But the pandemic could have had a lot to do with it. I did see pictures online with this thing full, so not sure exactly what's going on there, but it makes for perfect opportunities like this in uh, Airliners International providing for the welcome reception, which again, don't know if this was the first first baseball game or not but nevertheless really really cool and last thing i wanted to mention here before we get into the spotting clips which kind of leads us into that is the intention was definitely to watch the baseball game but once we saw all these planes coming over that was it talking about airplanes and uh, filming the airplanes was about it. Wish I would have been able to get my camera in there, but I didn't I know what the rules were. So I just decided to just leave it at the hotel, play, play it safe over sorry. And like I said, iPhone did a really good job and we have a bunch of great spotting footage coming up. So be sure to stay on the lookout for that. But yeah, it was really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. And it was an absolute blast. So with all that being said, that takes us into the next portion. So just gonna be a bunch of spotting clips from here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I won't do too much narration to keep it very raw and just the full experience for you guys. There was a bunch of good commentary anyways so there we go but there was a bunch of cheering and hollering and all kinds of fun stuff which is really really nice it wasn't too obnoxious for anybody that was watching the game uh for everybody's information but it was nice and it, you know it was the aviation section after all so it kind of worked out but yes it was a bunch of fun i really really enjoyed it and thank you so much Henry, and av or can't talk today. Airliners International for making this possible. This was an awesome welcome reception. I'm very excited to see where the following rep, uh, welcome receptions go from here. But nevertheless, we have a bunch of plane spotting. I won't add any information. Uh, most of them, some of them are heavies anyway, so you guys can probably uh, figure where they're going. But nevertheless, we have a bunch of good clips here. I hope you guys enjoyed the spotting and enjoy the subtitles as well as so I fill you guys in on the information. So with all that being said, let's take it over to the spotting. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's dive into it. Bought a model of one. I saw that. Everybody is. If you want 
right, you guys, a very successful day one in the books. As you guys saw, the baseball game went pretty good. Um, I can't say that it was the absolute funnest event I've ever been to on a trip like something like this, but the good news is it was still pretty good. So um, good dinner, and it, it was definitely it was definitely nice to get to chat with uh, my friends. So that was great. So the plan from here is to take it over to the A loft, which we're pretty close to as it is. Uh, can't see what plane that is, United. But we'll quickly walk over, take the bed, and yeah, day two is going to be great. Uh, even more people coming from what I heard. So, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. However, I chose to divvy this up. Um, now we're playing football in the parking lot. That's that's quite nice. Uh, but I am kind of walking with the vlogging. So, but yeah. Um, very pleased with today's outcome. Gonna get a couple of waters, go to bed, sleep good, um, get some content to upload, so I'll do that tomorrow. And yeah, so, um, but hope all is well. And yeah, if this is the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching, and hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, today was a bunch of fun and it's been a long one i think i've been up since five and it's ten so but not the longest day in the world but not the shortest there go the oakley's but nevertheless thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys soon good night everybody Alrighty guys, so I want to do one final audio clip here to assess the full situation, just go over everything one final time before we end this video. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the baseball vlog, it was so much fun. Sorry that I was kind of saturating that towards the end a little bit. I really wanted to go spotting that evening, and I did not think that the next day would turn out to what it uh, ended up being. So be sure to stay on the lookout for that Chicago here spotting vlog from the Dave & Buster's parking garage. That was so so worth it, and uh, that definitely changed my uh, experience on the baseball game, because the welcome reception was still very good and I really wanted to go spotting and because the weather was so good but thank goodness it turned out better than what it was forecast to be on Friday it was spectacular and it definitely made up for um doing the baseball game that evening but it was still a really good experience it was a bunch of fun to talk with so many fellow enthusiasts you heard the commentary the raw experience how much fun it was and i hope you guys enjoyed it that it ended up being like 10 minutes of uh, spotting footage so that actually worked out pretty well again sorry about that dust spot and kind of you know getting some cameras in the way and the focus on the camera it was still much better than nothing and i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it just like i did so super excited for what's to come next video up will be the day two vlog from airliners international so be sure to stay on the lookout for it there was a it was a jam-packed day i hope you guys are excited for that and then like I was saying, that Chicago Hair spotting vlog will be next. Stay on the lookout for it. It was so much fun. You guys are going to enjoy that so much. And I would uh, highly recommend checking that out once it comes out, along with all the other videos. Day 3 vlog to come next. And then I'm not sure where we'll go after that. But keep in mind, all the uh, flying footage from for the uh, Airlines International trip will be starting in September after we finish the Breeze inaugural flight from uh, Nashville, Tulsa, which will be August. So be on the lookout for that. Again, sorry that's so far out. But unfortunately, I'm only one person. I can't edit all of these videos nonstop. So that's... That's why we do it uh, progressively and trust me the content was absolutely incredible i could not believe how i'll even show some b-roll just to get you guys hyped up for it i could not believe how incredible the full experience was um there was so much variety united it is such a cool airline so be sure to stay on the lookout for that i hope you guys are excited for it it's going to be an absolute blast and i'm super excited for it so with all that being said that will do for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it uh feel free to check out the playlist for airliners international also jj skippy has a phenomenal playlist of the airliners international all the community content highly recommend checking that out it is super good and i'm so excited for what's coming i hope you guys are too so with all that being said that will do for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is Roger v and like thank you guys so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is red Aviation. i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon as red Aviation is signing off